Hey everyone, my name is Amy and today I wanted to show you how I made this faux brick wall or backsplash using Home Depot brick panels. The things you're going to need are brick panels from Home Depot. I like those out of Lowe's and Menards the best because I like the color and the texture of them. And you're also going to need white paint. I just used white primer that I had laying around the house. And then spackle. I used the dry decks with the pink lid. And then I also used a sample of the brick color. You, I went to Sherwin-Williams and they scanned it and got the exact color match. So I used that to hide my seam in the middle. First thing you're gonna do is cut and nail up your brick panels using small finish nails, paying special close attention to where the seam will be so that they lay nice and flat. And also make sure your bricks are lined up as close as possible like this, or else it's gonna look kind of wonky. Next thing to do is hide your seam with the spackle. You also wanna get an old textured rag to kind of dab on your spackle so it's not so smooth. So what I did, here's my seam right here, right down the middle. So I took my spackle and went right down the mortar joints, but I didn't just go down. I also went to the sides so that it kind of blended in better. It wasn't just one straight line down. And then I took my rag and kind of dabbed where I put that spackle. I let it dry a little bit and then dabbed it and it kind of brings back the texture that you, when you wipe it with your fingers, too smooth. And then if you get some on the brick, just take a wet rag and wipe that off. Now you can use the spackle to fill in the seam on the actual bricks. Mine's right down the middle of these two bricks. Once that's all dry, you can get your red brick sample paint and paint that over the seams and hide all that white. And then once that's dry, it's now time to paint your bricks with the white paint. Now the reason I use white paint instead of putting spackle all over the bricks like I see a lot of people do for the German smear is because when I was practicing on some sample pieces, I found that the spackle actually turned an orangey color. I thought it was maybe the kind I was using, but then I used a white joint compound and it did the same thing. And the more I moved it around the bricks, the worse it got. Plus with the spackle, you either have to whitewash it or seal it with something. So you do all this work to get it exactly how you want it. And then you have to seal it and potentially changing your final outcome. With the paint, it stayed white. Plus when I'm done, I'm done. I don't have to do any final steps. Now you can distress your paint and what worked best for me was just a kitchen sponge. Wait until the paint is just dry where there are no shiny spots. Mine took about five minutes and you can distress as little or as much as you want. I like a lot of bricks showing, but if that's too busy for you, you could do something like this, where most of it is white and only a little bit of the brick color is showing. I think that's really simple and pretty. When doing the bricks that have the seam down the middle, instead of swiping left and right with a paintbrush, I just dipped the sponge in some paint, dabbed off the excess, less is more, and sponged the paint onto the bricks and it helped disguise that seam even more. That is it you guys. It's a super easy project that can add a big impact to your space on a budget. The whole project was under $100 and you can do it in a weekend. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.